Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will be speaking about the visa requirements of Malta and we will be speaking about almost everything, starting with the visa policy of Malta moving forward to the application process, how to fill the application form and what do you need and in the end we will be speaking about all the required documents that you will be needing while applying for visa for Malta. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours. First, let's explain together the visa policy map of the Schengen area as a country of today is a part of the Schengen area. So if you are a holder of a passport belong to any country of the Schengen area if or if you are a holder of a visa of any country in the Schengen area, you have a free access to any country inside the uh, Schengen uh, area. Uh, and also there are some countries who can get access to Schengen area without visa. For example, countries of uh, all the countries of North America, Austria, United Arab Emirates, Japan, uh, Korea, Malaysia, and uh, many countries uh, in South America. All these countries can get uh, into the Schengen area and stay there for uh, 90 days for the rest of the world speaking about all African countries and almost all uh, Asian countries all these countries must obtain visa before traveling to the Schengen area and some of these countries like Iran Iraq uh, Ethiopia Somalia Pakistan you will need both visas for traveling to, uh, to the Schengen area or even transiting inside the Schengen area. If we will look together, so basically this is the general application form for a Schengen visa. Let's check together uh, this form. You will have first to print it and to start filling it uh, manually. Here in this part, you'll have to write your surname and here you'll write also your surname at birth, your first name, whatever that uh, data that you don't know you don't have to uh, fill uh, the date of birth the place of birth your country of uh, birth your current nationality or if you have any other uh, nationality here you will have to fill male or female your civil status if you are single married registered partnership uh, separated divorced whatever uh, status is you'll have to write then uh, the parental authorities if ca in case if you are a minor or uh, something and you uh, your legal guardian you'll have to write uh, the surname and the first name of your legal guardian if you are a minor and the phone number and the email address and the nationality also here you will have to write your ID number from your national identification uh, number after that you will start with the type of your travel document in general it will be ordinary passport but you if you are a holder of any other passport like diplomatic passport you will have to write it and if you have any other travel document you will have to be you will have to specify here uh, after that you will start with the number of your travel documents the date of issue and the expiry date also it's valid until which date and it is issued by which country here if you have uh, any personal data of the family member who is in uh, european union uh, or a citizen there you can have to you you'll have to write the surname of that family member or first name of that family member and uh, the date and the date of birth of such number of uh, the nationality of such member and the identification uh, number of such member but if you don't have you don't have to fill it only fill it if you have a family member who is in the european union then the family relationship with an uh, european union uh, citizen if applicable so you have to write it if uh, applicable then you will have to write your uh, the applicants home address and email address you will have to write to write your own home address and your email address and your phone number 
uh, also uh, oh, okay here we also you will have to write as a residence in which uh, country you are applying for uh, for uh, the visa are you applying from your own country or you are applying from other country here uh, you will have also to write your current occupation what you are doing right now what kind of job you are doing right now and here you will have to give some information about your employer the employer address the phone number and if you are a student you will have to give the name and the address of your educational establishment if it is a school or a university here you give the purpose of your journey are you traveling for tourism for business visiting family friends culture sport whatever purpose is you will have to fill it and here are some additional information on purpose of a stay you will have to give those information also if you have anything you would like to add you can just write it right here and the member state of main uh, destination and other member state of destination if applicable and member state of first entry uh, also you have to write uh, the name of such state here the number of entries requested do you want a single entry two entries multiple entries and also here this part for the finger uh, prints have your your fingerprints being collected previously for the purpose of applying for a Schengen visa you will uh, write yes or no depend, uh, uh, depending on your uh, situation the entry permit for the final country of destination where uh, where applicable if it's applicable also it will be issued by and valid from that day to that day the surname and first name of the inviting person if you have an inviting a person you will have to write his surname or first name if not applicable you will have to write the name of the hotel or the hotel or the hostel or your uh, accommodation uh, establishment where you will be staying in uh, the country in which hotel in which place uh, you will have also to give the address and the email address of the inviting person or the head or the hotel or the temporary accommodation and also you will have to give the telephone number here also you will have to give the name and address of uh, the inviting company and organization if uh, applicable also because if you are not invited by a company or organization you don't have to give any details about it and here are the surname first name uh, or of uh, of contact uh, of contact of per of any person from this company or organization here you'll give also telephone number of such person from such company or organization cost of traveling and living during uh, the, app uh, the applicant's stay is uh, covered how are you going to cover your own stay are you going to cover it by yourself or by a sponsor if you are going to cover it by yourself you have to check this box and you have to write how by cash credit card or which mean or if someone invited you a host or company you will have to uh, fill uh, the mean of support they will provide to you uh, in the end you will have to sign to read first this declaration and after reading this declaration you will have to write the place uh, from where you are applying and the date uh, of your uh, application or filling this form and here you will have to write uh, your name and your signature or if you are a minor your legal guardian will be signing this uh, in your behalf and we have checked together how to fill this application form step by step by yourself so in order to apply for visa for malta and submit all your documents then vfs global office is your option you can apply they have offices in algeria egypt india kyrgyzstan nepal philippines russia and many other uh, countries let's assume we're applying from india then after that take me to the website and in this website okay click start now 
the first thing is identify the visa like if you're applying for a tourist visa and here you can see all the informations about the visa you're applying for if it is a tourist visa of course you can also download the application forms from here they will tell you about the processing time uh, okay that it's preferable to apply up to three months in advance but it's in general the sh any Schengen visa takes like 15 days for uh, processing uh, the photo specifications and also all the required documents and the application uh, fees which is 80 euros and of course adding to them as uh, the service fees of uh, the, uh, the application center after that you'll have to begin your application fill the application form as we did then you'll have to book your appointment by clicking book an appointment and you will have to one second the page is loading you will have to click here book now you'll create an account first after that you have to choose the center you are going to apply through and also the best uh, day for yourself after that you will need to pay your uh, fees of course in the application center once you submit everything they will review your documents if you need extra documents or something then you will uh, so it, then you will submit uh, all your documents and you will have to pay your fees and then you'll be able to track your application once submitted and if your application is accepted you will be able to collect your passport from the center or you can also buy extra fees so they send you uh, the passport to your address and now we'll be speaking about all the required documents that you will be needing while applying for this visa speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends of the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented and if you are a student in a school or college enrollment letter should be provided number six for foreigners you will need a legal residence permit if you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence employment or student status or other valid certificates of legal stay provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located number seven you will need a proof of funds you will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay a bank statement for the last six months showing regular income the original bank statement 
must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.